In the heart of India beats the spirit of humanity. Yet here lies a silent crisis. Scarcity of blood. Every day countless lives hang from a delicate thread, relying on the generosity of donors. But the supply falls short by almost a million units every year. That's where heroes emerge. Ordinary individuals who become extraordinary by donating their blood. But it's not just receiving donations. It's also about ensuring safe blood. Come, let's meet Dr. Rajesh Savant of Kokila Ben Dhirubhai Ambani Hospital and listen to what he has to say about safe blood. As we know that blood is always used in life-saving situations. But at times, if this blood is not safe enough, in the sense that it harbors some viruses or bacteria or other pathogens which are known or which can be unknown also, then in that case, it can prove to be unsafe. Though blood is tested by whatever tests that are available in the particular region or the country, it may still have the capability of transmitting certain viruses to the recipient. And there comes the importance of advanced tests, molecular tests like the nucleic acid amplification testing or the NAT test. During the NAT testing, we look at the DNA or the RNA of the virus. That means we can detect a virus as early as say three to four days of the infection in the donor. And therefore, the window period, as we say, that is the period between the infection and the possibility of detection is the least with NAT based test. In India, regulatory authorities mandate testing of each and every donated unit for HIV, hepatitis B, hepatitis C, malaria and syphilis. My message today to all the youngsters is please come forward donate blood, donate platelets, because day in and day out, we doctors working in the hospitals, we see the struggle of the families who require blood transfusion. It is you all who would be the life-saving heroes for such patients.